Google just released Gemini CLI and it's a new competitor, new kid on the block, which is supposed to be Google's answer to Cloud Code. Um, it's funny because I didn't find a lot of time to invest in studying Cloud Code, but there's a huge buzz around co Cloud Code and suddenly Google published this uh, CLI. So uh, I've been playing around with Gemini CLI in the last uh, 24 hours. Um, and I've been playing with Cloud Code in the last uh, two weeks or so, and I wanted to do a, a very short comparison between both of them. First, we will start with kind of a technical comparison, and then I will share with you my subjective experience regarding uh, which tool I believe performs better at the moment, and we're talking about the 26th of uh, June. So uh, I have both of them open. Um, I'm operating on a Windows operating system, so, um, Cloud Code is with WSL and I'm using Gemini in uh, my terminal but via Windsurf because I like the capability of having uh, the CLI tool and also having the ability to use Windsurf or Corsair or whatever to do small tweaks to the files. So basically uh, putting the terminal in the IDE and then you can use autocomplete, make slight adjustments instead of using the CLI um, tools. So let me share with you um, this table that I have I've created. Okay, there you go. Okay, so first of all, let's remove this. Uh, in terms of, of license, so Cloud Code is MIT, while Google Gemini CLI is Apache. Um, you can use Cloud Code for Cloud Sonnet 4, which is the default, or other as Cloud models. You can read more about this in the documentation, which uh, I will share in the video description. Uh, in terms of, of Gemini, it's a completely open source. So first of all, you can see the prompts that they are using. And you can also um, use the same mechanism in order to co connect other um, LLMs, so you're not confined to the to the Google uh, models. Um, I will also share a link to this specific uh, prompt for Gemini, although you can find it over here. You come to the repository, uh, Gemini CLI and Gemini.markdown and just write down prompts and you will see what's under the hood. And in general, you can just explore the repository, which is very interesting. In terms of pricing and quota, and this is where Gemini um, at the moment has a huge benefit. So. Um, you get a fully free Gemini for 60 requests per minute or a thousand requests per day. Um, while Cloud Code, you do have a free tier if you're using a uh, Cloud Haiku, but once you want to use the more um, advanced models, you need to pay for the subscription, which are um, range between 17 bucks and 200 bucks for the um, Pro tier, which I believe is the cheapest one. You get rate limited pretty fast. This is something that needs to be taken into account. In terms of operating system, so um, at the moment, Cloud Code operates on, on Mac, Linux, and if you want to use it in Windows, you have to, you, you got to have WSL, while Gemini works everywhere. Um, now, in terms of capabilities, in concurrent agents, so Cloud is very e can e very easily spin up uh, multiple agents, while I didn't see this capability in Gemini. Um, let me see if I can spin up over here. So this is Cloud, and let's open Gemini as well. Let's see. Can you, let's see, task, create five different agents. Each one will build build a front-end HTML for a plugin for WordPress that is supposed to provide split testing capabilities. Let's see if it does this. But Gemini cannot do this and uh, this uh, having um, five different agents or s many sub-agents work concurrently on one hand can uh, be very expensive and can be uh, harder to coordinate but and orchestrate, but more often than not, it just saves you a lot of time. So this is very, very cool. 
Gemini doesn't offer this capability yet, as far as I know. Moving forward, so rate limits, in Gemini you have these rate limits. Um, Claude, the rate limits are based on the API. In terms of saved commands, um, I showed you already over here. Once you hit this button, and in Gemini you can do the same, you get these menus, which are some, somewhat similar. Uh, in both platforms, you can add your own commands, which is makes it kind of similar. Not a, not a major difference between platforms in this term. The context windows. So uh, Gemini, as you probably know, have a way uh, bigger context windows, 1 million tokens versus um, the 2K, 200K tokens uh, to to context window in Cloud Sonnet. In terms of thinking, so what I like about um, the, the Cloud code is that you can see the whole chain of thought. As you can see here, it creates a, a scratch pad and you can very easily afterwards see exactly, it, it streams basically everything. So you can very easily see what's going on under the hood and basically analyze the traces. While in Gemini, I didn't find this capability. Um, it just gives you like the, the final output and it, does, it doesn't, also doesn't generate the scratch pad in the terminal on the front end, which kind of sucks because I, I like seeing this, the scratch pad and I like seeing um, I like seeing how the model um, or, or the tool plans out the, the plan. And based on this, you can also pause it while it is uh, generating. So this is very valu valuable. Moving forward. Um, yeah, so I discussed the scratch pad. Um, what else? Um, model thinking, we also discussed. Context window, we discussed. Saved commands, concurrent agents. Operating system. Okay, so we covered uh, every, uh, everything that I wanted from a technical perspective. Um, now, in terms of, and the table is more comprehensive than what I shared because I just wanted to do this pretty short. But um, if you want, I just, I will probably share the link to the whole, yeah, I will share the link to the whole presentation and then you can see the side by side comparison even on stuff that I didn't mention. Now, uh, the bottom line. Uh, just a second. The bottom line, in my opinion, is at the moment, from my first impression, Gemini uh, seems fancy um, because you have the context window and also because it's way cheaper. But the performance, uh, I wasn't impressed so much by the performance. Um, what Cloud Code is producing seems way better at the moment. Perhaps I'm not operating Gemini correctly. Obviously, uh, it also depends on, on the model, um, but Gemini 2.5 Pro is supposed to be a very uh, powerful and capable model. So uh, I'm not sure if it's the way that things are structured or the model, but at the moment I'm way uh, more impressed by Cloud Code than Gemini um, CLI. Obviously, it just uh, came out yesterday, so things are probably going to improve very fast. Um, I already saw that uh, Gemini has a ton of issues. Uh, people already uh, offered many, many interesting solutions and many, many more features, uh, which is why open source is uh, so cool because the whole community can contribute and you get a, a lot of insights from the community. Uh, so probably this um, will move fast, very fast, as you can see here, add parallelism to free tier. So people already offer this uh, capability. Um, yeah, they are saying exactly what I said. This is this one of the features really driving cloud code adoption. So if you want to capture maximum market share with your free offering as well, add parallelism for task ex execution top down for Gemini CLI. So this is a great idea. Um, it's one of the first things that I tested if uh, we have parallelism um, in the free tier. At the moment, Gemini CLI doesn't offer this. So bottom line, I say if you're not, uh, if you don't have um, financial constraints and you're mostly interested in performance, I would still stick to Cloud Code and keep an eye open for um, the progress that the Gemini CLI is doing. If you're concerned about cost, Gemini CLI might be a better solution. 
I guess that's pretty much it for today. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please make sure to like and subscribe. I also have a newsletter about AI agents and, autom and automations. You can find it at nofluff.online. Um, leave your comments below with insights or findings that you have when playing around with Gemini and Cloud Code. And until next time, keep on automating.